E flat. What? The squeak in a shoe. This is the premier boy choir school in the nation. We are like rock stars. Just keep up on the music. Me up front, you supporting. The boy cannot read music. He needs help. He needs Carvel as his teacher. These kids have a short moment where before the voices change, and then everything they've been leading up to, you know, is gone. And so I identified with that whole aspect where I had the highest voice. I out sang all the girls <laughs> when I was growing up. And and then, you know, my voice changed. I was like, what do I do with myself? And these kids are so, so talented, but it's from one voice, and then all of a sudden you go through puberty and it's a different person. And seeing how these kids could get through that, I just completely related to and loved that the character kind of got to talk through that with them. Perfect fourth up. Sing a major second down. Back to tonic. Guys. How was it working with sort of Dustin Hoffman and Kathy Bates? Yeah, it was scary. <laughs> it was, I felt like someone just threw me into the deep end of the pool without teaching me how to swim sort of thing. <laughs> what I found most astonishing was that they were so, I mean, they, they've been around, they have Oscars and, you know, they've seen it all, done it all. But yet the, most, the smallest things within a scene would excite them and like, I've decided to look this way instead of that way. And to see that sort of like youthful kind of, it was almost like childlike, when you're a kid and you're using your imagination to make up stories and things, it was like that, and to, like that's what, why you do this and like that's why I've always wanted to do this is to be able to maintain that sort of excitement and passion for it and they still had it and it was really remarkable. Okay, guys, stop, that's enough. You need to be pushing the books up with your breath, not your belly. The way like I looked up to Dustin Hoffman or something like that, like they knew who I was and I knew who Dustin was, and it was this weird change. I was like, why aren't you freaking out about Dustin Hoffman the way I am? And they would just come up to me and ask me questions about Glee.